Shameful Death by William Morris. There were four of us about that bed. The mass price knelt at the side, I and his mother stood at the head. Over his feet lay the bride. We were quite sure that he was dead, for his eyes were open wide. He did not die in the night, he did not die in the day, but in the morning twilight his spirit passed away, when neither sun nor moon was bright and the trees were merely grey. He was not slain with a sword, night's axe of a knightly spear, yet spoke he never a word after he came in here and cut away the cord from the neck of my brother dear. He did not strike one blow, for the Greekans come behind, in a place where the hornbeams grow, a path right hard to find, for the hornbeam board swings so, and the twilight makes it blind. The lightened a great torch when, when his arms were pined and fast. Sir John, the knight of a fen, Sir Jai, and the Dolores blast, with nigh three scorn and ten, and grave not huge at last. And three scorn and ten, and my hair is all turned grey, but I met Sir John of a fay, long ago, on a summer day, and I am glad to think of a moment when I took his life away. I am three scorn and ten, and my strength is mostly past. But long ago, I and my man, when the sky was overcast, and the smoke rode over reeds of a fen, slew Guy over the lowest blast. And now, knights all of you, I pray you pray for Sir Hugh, a good knight and a true, and for Alice, his wife, pray too.